Greetings, pen pals. I have an unboxing video today, um, or rather should I call it a untubing video, or maybe a detubing video, because this pen comes in a tube, as you can see. Um, this, is, this pen is from Platinum. It is called the Little Shooting Star, or it is called the Small Meteor, which, depending on how the vendor you're buying it from, translates the name of the pen into uh, English. So this is uh, an inexpensive pen. I only paid uh, uh, about $10 each for these pens, including shipping uh, from Asia. So, um, but as you can see, it comes in a, in, a, in a tube. It's an inexpensive plastic pen. This is clearly sort of aimed at students and kids as sort of a school, school type pen, but we will unbox it and see, uh, or I should say detube it, untube it. I'm not sure how you would phrase that um, and we will see uh, 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 how it uh, how it goes so it it's a uh, comes in this nice sort of pl heavy fairly thick heavy plastic tube it's got some uh, labeling on it here and here uh, it could just come in a couple of colors I did buy two different ones I bought this um, this sort of uh, 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 aqua color and I bought a, a clear one as well we're gonna we'll untube the, the aqua one um, and it has the cap of the tube matches the barrel of the pen and it says um, it says platinum on the on the top of the cap but we can just unscrew that and what we have looks to be like the pen and some uh, styrofoam little styrofoam plug so we'll just shake that a little bit get the pen out get the little styrofoam plug out comes with a converter which is interesting um, I'm just going to set the tube and the packing material aside here. So it comes with a converter, which is which is interesting. It's a clipless pen. Um, it does say platinum on the side of the pen uh, in uh, in uh, in white um, in white right there, um, and it has sort of sort of like a black trim ring there. That's the just simply I guess the bottom of the section where it snaps on. Um, but it comes with this converter, which is interesting because I have not seen a platinum converter uh, of this type. Platinum converters are usually a much sort of higher end uh, and fairly pricey uh, affair. So I'm just going to just, um, just take these out of the box for just a second just to show you folks what a normal uh, platinum. This is what sort of a normal platinum converter looks like um we'll check to make sure both of these are compatible i'm kind of curious myself as to how that's gonna how that's gonna play out um but anyway it uh, is a pull to uncap pen and here we have a nib and a section that is very very reminiscent of say a platinum preppy so let's look at the platinum preppy and let's look at this pen and are they the same that is the question the nib seems to be the same nib, but with a uh, little little star um, decoration on it, um, as opposed to the regular platinum nib. But everything about the nib does seem to be the same. Let's see if the nib uh, are are swappable. So on a normal platinum preppy, the nib oops. on a normal platinum preppy. On a normal platinum preppy, the nib unit just pulls uh, right out of the pen like this. And on this one, it does as well. And can we swap them? Yes, we can. So these do seem to be the same nib units, which is, which is kind of cool. Let's just put that back uh, the, way it, the way they belong. Um, so that's neat. So what about the sections? Are we dealing about the same section? So let me just unscrew the section on my Platinum Preppy. We'll unscrew the section on this. We'll compare the two. So obviously the color of the plastic is different. We're dealing with a gray tinted plastic, but all in all, it seems to be the same. Let's see if we could just swap these. And it would appear that we can. So it looks like we're dealing with swappable, compatible parts here. Um, what about the caps? Let's see. Will the caps swap? Caps do swap. Well, let's see if the caps swap, depending on which section. So I'm, I'm uh, going to put my preppy 
completely back together the way it was. And we'll put the little shooting star cap on and it does work. So we, de we definitely, it looks like we're dealing with swappable uh, compatible um, uh, parts here. Um, much like we were dealing with when we were talking about the Preppy and the Prefont. So the Prefont is a $10, the Preppy is a $5 pen, this is a $10 pen. Main difference is it comes in different colors and has a metal clip. Um, but other than that, all the parts seem to be compatible and swappable and pretty much the same. Um, so they got the Preppy, you got the Prefont, and now you have the uh, little shooting star, which all seem to be uh, compatible and using swappable parts, which is nice. Now, now, this does seem to be eyedropperable as well, just like all these other ones uh, are, which is again, a very, very nice thing and cool and gives you a lot of opportunities. Given that you could swap on the little shooting star, the, um, the nib units, that would mean you should also be able to use these type of units, which are essentially um, marker tips and highlighter tips that platinum sells that you could swap in and out of these pens which is gives you yet another option if you wanted to turn this into a highlighter say or a marker um, let's see let's check the converter so here's the converter that came with the little shooting star and that just obviously fits in just fine it's a inexpensive push-pull converter with a very large uh, ball bearing style uh, agitator um, let's see if a stock platinum converter fits in. I'd be, yeah, of course it does. So yes, you could use a, a stock platinum converter, which of course uh, means you could also use this inexpensive uh, converter that came with the little shooting star with the preppy as well, which also is nice and opens up a, a lot. Wait, let's just make sure it fits for length because it is kind of long. Yeah, it does. So you could use that converter with a preppy as well. So that um, that uh, that works uh, that works pretty nicely. So this does seem to be. We'll, we'll check to see how well this converter actually works when we try to fill the pen in a bit. But this does seem to be a pretty pretty okay converter, um, and uh, it does have, it is branded. It does say platinum on the side of the converter, and it does come with a single platinum uh, regular platinum cartridge in the pen we won't be using that um so that's uh we're gonna put our converter in okay we'll just put our um, little shooting star back together and uh, we'll make the observation so this is a clipless pen but it does have facets which is very very nice um so it's you're not gonna have to worry about it rolling but it, it does not have a clip so you still have um you still have that uh that to uh that to worry about um uh if that's a problem at all um it does post it posts very nicely um size wise let's take a look at how it compares size wise. so here it is compared to the platinum prefont and the platinum preppy and as you can see it's pretty much right around the same as these guys size wise let's throw our lamy safari and our pilot metropolitan into the mix just so you can get a good idea um, and it's all these pens are all pretty much around the same size uh, we'll do the uh, we'll get a weight on this in post-production and I'll put that on the screen right here and um, that is pretty much what this pen is size wise um, it uh, you know it's if you it's got the exact same section as the preppy I personally would post this pen because it feels pretty light uh, it is kind of long I mean this you do have it with the cap on but that, that wouldn't bother me at all but if you're comfortable with the preppy or the prefont or any of the pens with this section you're going to be comfortable with this this sort of so somewhat of a step up doesn't pose any problem at all because you're never going to be holding the pen all the way up here because this is a nice long long section it does it is kind of nice relative to say the preppy and um the prefont so the just to compare the sections so this is our little shooting star which looks to have a dark gray um uh, uh um uh collector inside of a, a darker gray smoke colored plastic section um the preppy has a light colored collector inside a clear section and the uh, Prefont uh, has a slightly smoke colored section with a lighter gray collector. So we're dealing with three different color schemes, I guess, on the on the sections, but they, they're all interchangeable and compatible with each other. So if you get a bunch of these, you can maybe have some fun 
um, swapping, etc. So you can like put the, the cap from the preppy on the little shooting star, st stuff like that. If you if you if you're so in, if you're so inclined. Um, but in any case, that's uh, where we are with this. This is pretty nice, I have to say. This is this is this is pretty cool. And and again, this does seem to be eye droppable. So that again opens up a whole world of possibilities. And especially with putting the interchangeable tips that platinum offers, you could swap nibs if you want, like a one of the the uh, more, like the broader nibs. Like for example, this platinum preppy is a 0.5 millimeter. Um, this is a 0.3 on the little shooting star. You, if you want to just swap and put a wider nib in, uh, no problem. Uh, no problem there at uh, at all. So, um, so you do have that going for you, which is which is pretty, which is pretty uh, nice. So, um, I guess the only next thing would be to um, ink this uh, pen up and um, get going on the writing. Okay, for inking this, I'm gonna pair it with Colorverse Photon. I think this is gonna match okay, not perfectly, but I think it'll complement it well. Plus, I have a really nice big bottle of this, um, so we can get going with uh, with inking that up. Um, and um, let's we can see how this uh, platinum push pull converter actually works, because I have uh, not used one of the I've used the, these converters from many other. Uh, vendors, but I've not used one of these from uh, from platinum as of yet. So we can give that a a try uh, And we'll see how that works. So we'll pull, pull, we'll do it a few the Nice thing about these push-pull ones is you can just push and pull and push and pull a whole bunch of times um, And that's drawing up ink. Okay, not great Let me Do it a little bit slower um, yeah, it got a decent, decent fill there. Um, and, um, there's a lot of ink. The, these pens actually in that feed collector area, actually, there's actually a, quite a bit of ink sort of collects in there. So there's, there's a decent amount of ink in there, uh, as well as up going up into the, um, into the converter. So we can, uh, cap, we can put the barrel back on. Just wipe that off a little bit more, and there we go. So that is it all inked. Now, of course, as we always say, pens were meant to write. You're going to want to see how this pen writes, and I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, folks, what we're writing with here today is a platinum. Little Shooting Star or Small Meteor depending on uh, which vendor you buy it from and this has a 0 0.3 millimeter steel nib so if you're familiar with the um, writing experience of say the Platinum Preppy, etc., cetera, um, you're gonna be familiar with the writing experience on this, it's exactly the same. It is nice, it's smooth. I would say it's um, slightly uh, above average wetness, but um, not a gusher or anything, but it's definitely, it's definitely smooth. It flows well, etc., etc., etc. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty uh, nice. Speaking of pretty nice, one thing that I think would be really pretty nice is if all of you could please like, share, comment, and subscribe. That would just be awesome. Please do those. And I will be ever so grateful. So anyway, back to this uh, pen. It, uh, like I said, it's it's pretty nice. If you, but if you're familiar with the experience on the Preppy or on the Prefond or any of these sort of inexpensive platinum pens, um, you know, it's uh, pretty it's pretty nice. I'd say 
this is definitely, you know, forgetting it's clipless, so you have to deal with that effect, but it's a nice pen. I think the difference between this, it's a bigger difference between this pen and the Preppy than between, say, the Preppy and the Prefont. The Prefont and this little shooting star run about the same price. I, I, this is, to me, just a more interesting pen. You do also get the converter. Let's not forget that. You don't get the converter with either of these. Um, so I don't know. I'm thinking this is a nice, this is definitely, if you're thinking about buying a prefont, just to give you a, like another version of the preppy, I would consider this pen. I think this is really a, um, I would think this is really a cool, uh, a cool alternative to the platinum preppy. And I really like it quite a bit. And like I said, if you've written with the preppy, you know, you, you know what the writing experience you're going to get on this, uh, on this, uh, on this pen. Uh, is so um, there we uh, go that is this um, uh, pen pretty much don't have too much more to say about the pen let's talk about this ink now for a minute now shall we okay this ink is from Colorverse so this is Colorverse Photon and um, like many many colorverse inks it comes as part of a set you get a large bottle and a small bottle so this is the large bottle of the set is this photon from colorverse you get this big 65 milliliter bottle it also comes paired with a, another ink which we'll do on another day um, called gluon which is a completely different color and that is also a has a sparkle that's an ink with sparkles and you can see all the um, the sparkle components settle to the bottom of the bottle there. So this one we'll do on another day, but you get this as part of this set. So it's very common with Colorverse sets. It's a big bottle and a small bottle, and it comes all nicely boxed and packaged. And uh, in uh, let's let's pull the camera back from it so you guys can see. So you get sort of this nice um, this nice packaging, um, very deluxe sort of packaging. Not cheap. Colorverse inks are uh, kind of on the pricier side, but I'm a big 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 fan so anyway colorverse photon nice nice uh ink actually pairs better with this pen than i would than i actually thought at first glance so i'm actually that turned out to be a um a pretty decent call um pretty pleased with the way that this uh paired up um nice color um uh fairly saturated color which is what you typically get with colorverse inks this is a tiny bit on the light side, so depending upon what your writing requirements are and how picky you are about how dark your ink is, you may or may not be happy with it. I'm perfectly fine. I would be perfectly fine using this for sort of just general writing and note taking in a business setting and stuff like that. But your mileage, uh, of course, may vary. But again, just a nice, nice, uh, uh, a pretty, pretty um, attractive uh, 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 ink. Um, okay, that's what this ink looks like on this Rhodia paper. Let's take a quick look at what this ink looks like on Tomoe River paper. Okay, what we're writing with here is, like we said, Colorverse, Photon, and again, look good on Rhodia, looks good on Tomoe River, just a really nice, pretty ink. Um, and, um, frankly, I think the thing I like best about this ink is how well it goes with the pen at the moment. So, um, but again, nice, nice ink and, um, um, I'm pleased with it and I'm happy with it. Well, I think that'll just about do it for this video for today. I hope you enjoyed watching it because I know I certainly enjoyed making it. And as always, until we see each other again next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.